Media. We are so, so proud of the work that you have been doing to celebrate Black History Month. And we also have a very special poem that was written by one of our extraordinary staff members, Dr. Ballard, our poem writer extraordinaire. And it is the BBL Black History Month poem. All right, here we go. Black history, black history. Black history, black history. There's no mystery to black history, but there's misery in black history. It makes you sad and it makes you mad. Yet through all that was bad, some people fought back. They won their fights and won our rights, and for that, we can be glad. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. So said the great man, Martin Luther King, with words so lustrous. What was horrible? horrible before is now not so. Things are better than then they can. But let's face it, folks, we have far to go. Things are better than then. They can get better yet. But it needs our smarts, our hearts, our sweat. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. So said the great man, Martin Luther King, and he meant it not for just us. He meant it for the mother who's stuck in jail because she can't afford the courthouse bail. He meant it for the child who dies in infancy because the family lives in rural poverty. Yes, even though we live in a democracy, doctors still don't help folks live equally. Black babies die twice the rate of white. Who could ever, ever think that's right? <laughs> he meant it for all the young black men who get stopped by cops again and again. And even though it's frowned upon on CNN, stop and frisk mutates like a carcinogen. He meant it or even the slightest of slights, like when a black person can't hail a cab at night. He also meant it for the most severe wrongs, like when Emmett Till was killed for whistling a song. <laughs> the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. So said the great man, Martin Luther King. And since he's correct, we have a reason to sing. Our country elected President Obama. And even though it caused a fair bit of drama, it resulted in one most definite thing. Black children can grow up to be anything. <laughs> the future looks good. Things will only get better. But each of us has to be a go-getter. Let, let a million black umbrellas open up in stormy showers, like a million black flowers. Black flowers, black flowers. And when it rains, our school may have a leaky roof but still we study hard in pursuit of the truth. We must attain equality that is foolproof, fireproof, shatterproof, bulletproof. The future of the world lies on the back of the youth, and it starts right here at BBL. Yes, it starts Thank you very much, and thank you to our fifth graders who were on the drums, Makai Rattree and Matthew Ramos. <laughs>